Hey guys, I'm Mel Lyons. And I'm Lady Sparks. And today we will be covering Brain Bull Survey, Mystery Locker, Grammys, Sliding Competition, and Caucus Voting. Let's get to it! Hey Casey! I'm Leah! And I'm Holly. The 6th grade Brain Bull team had its state championship this weekend. And we got inspired to ask the students some of the kinds of questions these kids had to answer. Are you ready, Holly? I'm ready. Let's, Let's get, get to it! it. In three-fifths of Q equals ten, what is Q? Um... I don't know. Is that okay? Yeah. Complete the title of this biography, Rocket Man, the story of Robert. Um, Gilson? Nope. <laughs> A log floats with 40% of its volume above the surface of the water. Its density must be what percent of that of the water? Wait, 1% or what percent? What percent? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what is the nickname for Australian? Aussie. Which planet has at least 16 moons? Um, yeah, I don't know that one. Mars! Uh, no. I'm Lucy. And I'm Allie. As you might know, there were some pretty interesting outfits at the Grammys. We picked out four of what we thought were the most interesting. And we're going to ask you what you think of them. I see, like, a girl who's wearing, like, a bat costume. And it has a bunch of, um... Designs on it's very sparkly. It's very red dyed hairs. So. What I see in this picture is a lot of different things. I don't really think it's encouraging because some girls might think that they have to be perfect and skinny and things like that. But it's also encouraging because they can be like an actress or a singer and things like that. So that one's really weird and it's like for Easter and it's very pink. Um. It's, the skirt is kind of weird because it's like round and then also it's just very different. That's what some of our Casey students thought of the Grammys outfits. If you have any survey ideas, email KCTV at casey.news.tv at gmail.com. On February 13th, Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia died in Shafter, Texas after serving nearly 30 years on the Supreme Court. He was very important to the government. All the Supreme Court justices are responsible for making the final decision on all the cases involving the Constitution. Now it's President Obama's job to nominate another justice and the Senate will either approve or deny it. Now we have a couple questions for our KCTV viewers. How many women are on the stand? Who's the oldest and youngest justice? And what if the Senate denies all of Obama's nominations? If you don't know, ask your teachers. Today we are doing a sledding competition between Miss Evans' fourth period and Miss Powers' fourth period. Let's get to it! Showing us how to respect our Casey students. Okay, girls, today we have two new students. So please just uh, be nice and show them around the classroom, you know, introduce yourselves. We're gonna go make more coffee. Um, hi, I'm Erin, and I go by he, him, his, and I wish you would respect that. Hi, I'm Blue, and I also go by he, him, his, and I wish you'd respect that as well. Well, I, I identify as a guy, and that might not be exactly what, that doesn't, might not match what I was born as, but it's, it's how I identify, and I wish that you would learn to respect that. Now, girls, what's the problem? Girls, what's the problem here? We're all a community. 
community at KC. Okay? Good. I'm Marina, and at KC we have our very own GSA. That stands for Gender Sexuality Alliance. Sexuality is who you like. Um, if a girl likes a girl, then you're lesbian. If a boy likes a boy, that's gay. If a girl or a boy has the attraction to the opposite gender, that's straight. A bisexual is if you have attractions to both boys and girls. Asexual is if you feel no attraction to either gender. That is sexuality. Gender is how you identify as a person. Somebody can be transgender, either female to male, which means that they were born female and they identify as male, or they could be male to female, which means they were born a male and they identify as female. And there are also genders within this giant spectrum, which means you don't identify as a girl or a boy, maybe both, maybe neither. One of these examples is gender fluid, which means that you can identify as a boy or a girl, um, both or neither, at any time or place, depending on how you feel. And there's also like gender queer and agender, which means you don't identify on the spectrum, or you don't identify as having any gender at all. That's gender. Come to our GSA Open House. On Wednesday next week. In the fishbowl. During A lunch or 7th and 8th grade SSR. Yeah! It looks like they put a lot of work into that. Let's respect our KC students. Drop into the GSA meetings on Wednesday at SSR. Bye, Bye KC! Hi, I'm Kasai, here with an update on the presidential elections. On Tuesday, March 1st, Colorado, Republicans and Democrats will participate in the Colorado caucus. A caucus is where people stand on e either side of the room depending on who they are voting for. Either they are a Democrat or a Republican. Uh, to find out who uh, the elections are, find out on KCTV. Thanks for watching, Casey. See you next week.